Welcome back my good name is Dopez DJ DJ Viano. Hope unazidi kubarikiwa. Dop mixes coming your way uh, courtesy of your Dopest DJ and uh, we have a good conversation up with you. Welcome to the warm section. The song is by uh, Anaitwa Nani. Anaitwa uh, Anaitwa uh, King Kaka. Anaitwa uh, Umeni Bariki pale hivyo. Hope unapatia Mungu shukrani each and every day. Whether umebarikiwa ama kidogo kwa process ama uko umefika pale juu wa uh, ni, ni kitu muzimu sana so that upatie Mungu shukrana kila kitu kitakuwa vizuri sana au sio uh, welcome to the uh, warum section uh, is that time that we get uh, to have a, a message from God and uh, leo tunaangazia tu sana on the uh, book of proverb uh, na yule ambaye kwa hapa hivi si mgeni sana amekuwa sisi on this platform but liachana last year wow <laughs> karibu sana pastor asante sana wow uh, maybe uh, umekuwa ume vipi how was your week Yeah. Mm-hmm. Adi kwa salama mm-hmm. na shukuru Mungu. Uh, wiki imekuwa nzuri especially after ku crossover. Mm-hmm. Eh, uh, actually last year bwana. Yes, yeah. <laughs> last year i think of uh, that time uh, tulikuwa tunafanya recording pale ulitoa season ya corona by the way eh, season ya corona eh. tulikuwa tunafanya recording kule pale apa apa town hapo ni yeah. uh, posta hapo hivi eh. wow hey long time <laughs> hope kila kitu kwa salama kwa salama na Mungu amekubariki bwana jengo linakamilika limekamilika mm-hmm. tunafanya finishing done wow tafanya finishing done mm-hmm. Mungu amekuwa baraka sana asante eh. so wacha tu nikupishe so that you can be able to minister to our viewers pale nyumbani and then ndakuwa narudi back kwako okay yeah karibu nashukuru sana mm-hmm. uh, nataka nichukue fursa hii kuanza kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya nafasi hii si nafasi ya kawaida mm-hmm na ni tunuko kutoka kwa bwana na pia ni washukuru watu wa West TV kwa sababu ya ya kunipa kibali ya kuhudumia watu wa sasa na asubuhi ya leo na napo bila kuchelewa nataka tukaingia kwa madam yetu ya leo kwa kutoka kwa kitabu cha Midali 22 mstari wake wa sita na nitasoma tu kisha nitaeleza mambo machache alafu itakuwa vizuri sana uh, kitabu cha Midali 22 mstari wa sita nasema mle mtoto katika njia impasayo naye hata iacha hata atakapokuwa mzee mle mtoto katika njia impasayo naye hata iacha hata atakapokuwa mzee nataka nikaweza kusema hivi uh, ningeongelea jambo kidogo kuhusu mbegu isiyokufa mbegu isiyokufa na kitu kimoja ambacho ni cha muhimu sana katika jamii ni ni familia is an institution of the family na familia huwa ya muhimu sana kwa hivyo unasikia hapa huyu mwandishi anamhubiri anasema ya kwamba ukimlea mtu katika njia impasayo bwana akiwa mtu mkubwa hata iacha kwa njia nyingine ni kwamba uh, training ama mbegu ile ambayo unaipanda unapoanza akitu kingali kiko changa kiamka huwa haikufi na mimi nataka nikaweza kusema hivi kwamba Uh, dunia sasa ni dunia ambayo inenda mbio na vitu vimebadilika lakini naye Mungu aliweka systems ama aliweka vitu ka, katika njia fulani ambayo inawapasa watu kuifuata na njia moja ni kwamba ni, ni training training na ndio maana uh, mubiri anasema kwamba mle mtoto kwa njia nyingine you train up your child unamfunza ile njia ambayo wewe unapenda na utakapomfunza hivyo baadaye ataifuata yale maadili na niliyaisoma kitabu kingine kinasema kwamba uh, safari ama maono ya mtu mdogo huenda miaka mingi baadaye maono ya mtu mdogo uh, ama a child's thought goes for a, way, a long way kwamba ukimfunza mtu kitu saa hii mtu mdogo saa hii kinaenda muda mrefu na utakugundua kwamba haiweza kaiwacha watu wengi wako jinsi walivyo hivi leo ni kwa sababu walipata nafasi ya kuleona watu wazuri aidha watu wa kanisa walipata uhubiri wazuri ama watu ulimwengu ama wanafunzi wa, alifanya kitu fulani kwa sababu alipata mwalimu mzuri na mwalimu wa kwanza katika jamii ni mzazi mzazi anatunuko kubwa ya kuifanya nyumba yake kuwa shule anatunuko kubwa ya ku, kuwa na mazingira yale ambayo anapenda uh, familia yake ama mtoto wake kuwa nayo kwa sababu unagundua kwamba uh, watu wengi sana uh, asa sana kule nje wamewafanya watu wao wamewa train na wakawapea utakuta utakuta jamii kama ilikuwa ni mwalimu ndio baba ama mama ni mwalimu utagundua kwamba katika familia hiyo watu wengi ni mwalimu kuna familia ambayo unagundua kwamba kulikuwa na daktari utagundua kwamba watu wengi kwenye familia ni madaktari reason huwa ni kwamba watoto husoma sana 
kuona kwa, kwa, kwa kuona by observation na yale mambo ambayo naambia kwa hivyo jambo la muhimu katika maisha haya ni kuwa na familia ambayo Mungu yuko katikati ni familia ambayo Mungu ndiyo kiongozi familia ambayo maadili ya Mungu ndiyo yanayotawala na na mhubiri kitabu cha Zaburi 127 kuanzia mstari wa 3 mpaka pale wa 5 inasema ya kwamba a uh, wana ni uridi kutoka kwa Bwana. Kwa hivyo kama watoto ni uridi kutoka kwa Bwana, ni vyema sana kujua kwamba kama una mtoto tayari is the first inheritance. The first inheritance yenye familia mtu yote anaweza kuwa nayo ni kukuwa na jamii, kukuwa na mtoto. Ni watu wengi ambao hawajawahi barikiwa kupata watoto huwa inakuwa shida sana na huwa inakuwa vita sana kwa sababu the first inheritance inaonyesha kwamba Mungu ameingia kwa jamii yako kupitia kwa mtoto. Now, tutawezaje kujua kwamba mtoto wako ambaye Mungu amekupa amelelewa katika anataka kuaje as a parent unastahili kujua kwamba mtoto ambaye Mungu amekupa anastahili kuwa gift to the world anastahili kuwa sadaka anastahili kuwa zawadi kwa hivyo anapoenda kwa dunia anaachilia ana, mambo yale ambayo yanakufanana na wewe because watu wengi sana they are the replica of their parents kwa mfano Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha medali 16:44 inasema ya kwamba uh, mtaitumia medali hii tena kusema ya kwamba uh, wacha tusimetupa ale kwa haraka midali 16 uh, 40 Ezekiel uh, 16 verse number 44 Ezekiel 16 verse number 44 kwa haraka tu kidogo alafu alafu tutaendelea utagundua kwamba kwenye Ezekiel 16 44 inasema 44 inasema mhm mm okay kidogo 44 inasema Eh, tazama kila mtu atumea medali atatumia medali hii kinyume chako akisema kama mama ya mtu alivyo ndivyo alivyo binti yake uh, waingereza wanasema like mother like daughter <laughs> na ama like son <laughs> like, like father like son kwa hivyo wewe tunaweza tukakujua wewe tunaweza tukajua venye mama na baba wanaishi kwa kutazama watoto tunaweza tukajua venye familia fulani ipo kwa kutazama watoto when we look at your children tunaweza jua kwamba huyu mtoto anafanana na mama yake hii tabia ni kama ya mama yake na utagundua kwamba pale zamani watu walikuwa waki, wakipigana ama, ama familia sahihi we, we thank god that hakuna violence in the families and that's one of the thing yenye Mungu amebariki watu wa kisasa kwa sababu wana hekima wana akili nzuri na hakuna family hakuna violence lakini ungegundua kwamba zamani uh, mzazi angekasirika mfano baba na mama unasikia anamwambia wewe mtoto unataka kama mama yako kwa hivyo watoto wengi wanachukua tabia yetu na how can we tunaozaje tukafanya watu hawa wakaweza kuna wili na wakaweza kukua kutu represent sisi vizuri ni kwa sisi kufana kufunza katika njia ipo sawa bwana kupanda mbegu ambayo tunajua kwamba ni mbegu ya Mungu ni mbegu isiyoweza kufa mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow wow that is the word of the day na na hope umeweza kubarikiwa pale nyumbani but acha uh, nikuje kwako pastor francis kidogo tu swali la kizushi yes. because tumeko kwa season where by people people wanamekuwa brainwashed a lot yes. and uh, how uta differentiate between that uh, these are the teachings and yes. this one you are teaching people to be slavery okay yeah ya uh, mara, mara nyingi have, have been have, nimekuwa na hiyo changamoto sana nimekuwa naizungumzia mm. maana watu wengi wanasema there is a uh, kuna kitu ambayo ina style tujue kuna kitu inaitwa doctrine mm. na kuna kitu inaitwa dogma mm. doctrine ni yale maadili ambayo mm. yanatokana na biblia mm. na dogma ni utaratibu ambayo kanisa ama mtu anaweza kuwa nayo na kwa doctrine kunaweza kuwa na mchafuko ama heresy ambayo watu wanaweza funza kitu ambacho si sawa kabisa na neno la Mungu na asa sana uh, watu ambao uh, ni maneno ya Mungu we have to base them from the scriptural point of view ni lazima tujue kwamba haya maneno yanatoka kwa Biblia na uh, revelation kuna mwana kitu ambacho inaitwa revelation na mimi wa, najua kwamba wa, wa, watumishi wengi wa Mungu kuna revelation but kuna kitu inaitwa progressive revelation na kuna ile ambayo mtu anaakwea sasa revelation ya watu ndio kuna, kuna, kuna dosari maana unakuta mtu anaongeza sana inakuwa exegesis Una, unaongeza kulingana na vinyoo unafahamu but every doctrine ya Mungu iko inspired by the Holy Spirit na iko within the line. Kwa hivyo utakuta kama ni right teachings hata utakuta mtu ambaye anafunzwa yeye na roho yake wanakubaliana. Unaelewa hivyo? Kwa hivyo every scripture kitu ambacho kinachoweza kusaidia watu sana ni kwamba maadili ama hayo mafunzo yatoke kwenye msingi wa Biblia. Eh yeah. oh sala nyingine la kizushi kidogo uh, kuna ile time uh, tumekuwa na discussion each and every time yeah. na kuna ile wakati ambapo kwa sababu tunaangazia uh, the bible inasema train your children uh, yeah. in the way, the way of, of the lord yeah. na kuna ile time umezungumzia umetoa mfano wa 
mtoto maybe ana babake ni mwalimu yes. na maybe ana babake angependa pia ya kuwa mwalimu yes. kuna ule mtoto anatazama saa hizi na anajiuliza okay my dad maybe uh, uh, ako pale hivyo maybe uh, acha tumie mfano wa mwalimu yes. na maybe anataka mimi ni kwa mwalimu but yes. at least sina call to that yes. uh, to that field yes. atafanya nini okay yes. sasa una, una, hapo hivyo hiyo ni swali nzuri sana mm-hmm. ni swali nzuri sana maana wazazi wengi wafanya watu wa kuweka kama vinya wao wangependa kuwa mm-hmm. but kitu ambacho nataka tujue kuna vitu vitatu ambavyo ni vya muhimu kuna kitu kinaitwa talent kuna kuna gifting na kuna ministry especially talent ni kitu ambacho umezaliwa nacho especially si kama sisi mimi wanajua talent is given by god kuna god in trinity god the father son and the holy spirit so una kujua talent is given by god kama wewe unajokiza mpira ama nini but giftings you can be gifted that's by the spirit of god mtu anaweza kuwa gifted kama like where you are a genius in this thing or mm. that's a gifting and it can be also be a talent but a gifting is an extra thing that is added to a talent unaona alafu kuna kitu ambacho ni ministry what you like to do most where you can base on so kitu kama hicho especially if you are a child ama wewe ni kijana na you have identified your strength then you dwell on your strength hapo uh, hivyo watu wengi wazazi wengi wanapotoza kwa sababu utakuta mtu mwingine anasema ah, ah, wamemtoa kwa laini ambaye angekuwa na ukitoa kwa laini yako utagundua ya kwamba kupenya sana kwa maisha na kwa ngumu but if you are within your line unapenya kwa mfano mimi nilipenda nikuwe mfano msomi I wanted to be a scholar but nikajipata ninahubiri. So nilikuwa na changamoto nikisema kwamba mapasta wa kwingi na pesa nini? But hapo <laughs> <laughs> kwa pesa my friend. Eh hey, hey, pesa hapo. Mm-hmm. Unagundua kwamba pasta una pesa kwa na pasta boy tufunza sisi mm-hmm. walikuwa na mama shida shida. Mm-hmm. So later nika learn this is my calling na nikaifuatilia hapo. Mm-hmm. Na ukifuatilia unagundua kwamba God will give you wisdom what to do. Like me I I I, I write songs na imba alafu I write books. Mm-hmm. So unaona? Mm-hmm. Na nikipea watu wanabarikiwa. So Mungu anajua venye ananipeleka that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay acha uh, umezimuuzia about talent and gifting. Yes. Uh, gani inatangulia? Ta- talent. Talent inakuja kwanza uh, then gifted. I love gifting is mm-hmm. by the inspiration of the spirit. Mm-hmm. Sa so, kuna watu wengine ambao they, they are extraordinary. Na ugundua kwamba kinyo wanafanya is not sio kitu cha mtu wa kawaida. Mm-hmm. Kuna watu ambao wako apart from talent wako too so much gifted. Mm-hmm. Mnaenda ku, kucheza mpira, unaona una, una, hii ni extreme. Kinyo amefanya hiki mm-hmm. ni zaidi ya mawazo ya binadamu. Mm-hmm. So that is the spirit is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wow, wow. <laughs> Happening on the war room section and I get more the uh, humble kupata pastor Apostle Francis hapo yeah. hivi amekuwa na sisi in each and every season. Acha nikuje kwake tu kidogo aza tukikamilisha. Uh, naona mpiga pamba safi yuko sawa na mezumuzia kwamba wale wale ministers ambao walikuwa pale hivyo uh, walikuwa na kama shida shida kidogo. Maybe nini may change? Oh may change ministry aje uh-huh. now you uweze kuwa pia differently uh-huh. from wale ma tunaweza uh, sema the four fathers yes. who walikuweza kukupatia yeah. ku hold kukupatia that mentorship yes. until ukafika to this level yes. yeah sasa kitu kimoja ambacho nimegundua kama kwa sasa mm-hmm media is very important wow. ambacho wale hao kwa wanapenda mm-hmm. in fact mimi one of my pastor mwenye aliyeni leo alikuwa apendia hizo instruments mm-hmm. zenzi kukanisani mm-hmm. anasema zinatupunguza Mungu mm-hmm. so unaona mm-hmm. so uh, watu wengi wanakataa modernity but in why one or your another modernity inasaidia mm-hmm. kwa mfano sasa mimi uh, kama hii platform nimenipa hii mm-hmm. eh, hii tayari unajua ni ma, ma elf na ma elfu watu mm-hmm. wanakutana that's one number one to media number two nagundua kwamba skill ile iko nayo mfano Uh, we, we tunataka excellence mm-hmm. wa ministry we want excellence mm-hmm. uh, I'm, 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 a, i'm a reader i'm a scholar mm-hmm. mara nyingi i'm reading books and na mimi pia wanaandika books because of inspiration mm-hmm. so now unagundua kwamba uh, maybe my mentors hakukuwa na mtu anaandika kitabu mm-hmm. hakukuwa na mtu anaandika wimbo mm-hmm. so mimi nimeenda tu moja ama nyingine mm-hmm. kwa sababu ya neema ya Mungu or aka <laughs> sense <laughs> wow 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 yeah. uh, and uh, you, you always handle uh, real uh, real stories yes. to cool it out and uh, the the good book in some come but train your, your child uh, to the way uh, oh, the, the, of the lord yeah. and now kuna yule maybe unajua una, una handle a lot of uh, watu wengi pale kanisani uh, including the youths pale hivyo yes. maybe this is the scenario youth anakuja na kuambia uh, apostle francis nimekuwa yeah. nayo for all this time but mimi na feel to niache church niache yes. church yako then go to uh, a neighbor church mm. because we have talked about instrument kuna mm. vitu nyingi sana uchangie uchangie that uh, uh, that conversation mm-hmm. maybe what is your take to that jama okay 
Ya risali ngumu na tutajaribu. Uh, kitu cha kwanza, ukiona mtu ana move from one church to another, something is missing. That's number one. Kitu kinakosea mali pale ambacho roho yake inatafuta. But uh, mimi wanaambia hivi, kwa mambo na, na na the spirituality kwa wewe ku grow and for you to do exploits, you must be established. And how can you be established is to stay kukaa kwa hiyo altar for some time, you drink from that spirit until you understand it. Watu wengi wanatoka roho ambayo imeongoza. They they and that's why unakuta kwamba kuna watu wana, wana, wana knowledge nusu. You have a half knowledge because kila pastor na kila mwalimu wa neno la Mungu kuna venye Mungu anampa neema and they have their own wisdom na ukikana naye sana there is something that you will tap but if you go out kama uja grow you will find that ukitoka kwa church uja grow umeingia kwa church nyingine uja grow utakuwa half baked christian na hiyo even mambo ya dunia hii itakushinda because utakuwa hauna discipline alafu number two, itakuwa maybe uh, Mungu hajakufunza vizuri you don't know the principles of the bible kitu kama mfano sasa hii mambo yote wanapiga kelele ya ya giving and what and what is just because there are some people that doesn't know the principles of the bible ukichangua hiyo haikusumbui eh wow hapo kuna swala hapo linasumbua sana kwa giving but tutakot na handle uh maybe uh up with you uh, uh in future yes. but uh maybe uh maybe a word to najua sasa hizi kuna wanafunzi wako nyumbani maybe mm. wanajianda kwenda wanaenda kwenda shule yeah. uh, najua sasa hizi wako L, left right center kuna wale wazazi pia wako pale hivyo trying to make things easy kwa salama sana for their kids to join maybe different uh, shule hapa na pale mm. maybe uh, you can say a word to them yeah okay yeah, yeah. Uh, especially na uh, maybe mucho I will pray with them mm-hmm. but nataka mm-hmm. nikawaambia kwamba wazazi mwe, mwezi wa January ni mwezi ambao huwa tight sana because kila mtu anakimbia kulipa karo kila mtu anakimbia kumake sure kama mtu wake anakuwa vizuri but one thing i can tell you is that uh, uh, as parents don't lose hope Mungu awasaidie awafungulie malango mkazidi mka, mka kwa kwa lipia watonyo karo lakini hawa watoto pia wasiaibishe wazazi <laughs> ukienda shule tafadhali soma kwa bidii put your knowledge uh, akili yako kwa kitu ambacho unakifanya na utukufu wa mzazi furaha ya mzazi ni wakati mtoto wake anapita mtihani furaha ya mzazi is when your child shines sasa na mimi naamini hivi uh, viano je viano mimi naamini kwamba hakuna mtu mjinga Wow. Eh, mm-hmm. na mimi na kuna mtu mjinga mm-hmm. na hakuna mtu mrefu. Mm-hmm. Ni yale mambo ambayo yanafanya ndio yanafanya because mm-hmm. akili ya mtu hushika mambo ambayo me practice for a while. Mm-hmm. Sasa kama ukisema wewe there's no hakuna mtu mjinga mm-hmm. na kila mtu anaweza pita. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kila mtu anaweza pita na kidogo ni sawa swali nyingine hapa hivi. Eh. We've talked about altars. Yes. Kuna vile mtu anaweza kuwa na different altars. Mm-hmm. Maybe tuseme 1 2 3 up to 5. Uh-huh. Ama you have as a human being as a yule mkristo kwa kanisani pale hivyo mm-hmm. anafaka tu na one altar. Ama uh-huh. kuna a way that somebody anaweza kuwa na different altars. So uh-huh. Akitaji kitu fulani anajua altar fulani anaenda. Uh-huh. Akitaka kitu fulani anajua hiyo altar itaweza enda kwa hiyo altar nyingine. <laughs> What is your take? <laughs> Na hapo <laughs> nimefurahi sana. Kitu kimoja ni uh, ni kwamba umeona altars. Mm-hmm. We have one higher altar is the altar of Christ. But mm-hmm. the place where we are, we build that's our altar. Now we go there to worship. Mm-hmm. It's a place of sacrifice. Tukifika mahali pale wa Abraham ama biblical people had many altars. Alikama Abraham alikuwa na many altars. You when you read the Bible you will understand that. Yeye alikuwa na jenga mwenyewe. Na unajua hizi majina zinasema za Mungu sio jina za Mungu, ni jina za watu. Kwa mfano Jehovah Nisi sio jina ya Mungu. Ni jina ya altar ambayo uh, Moses alibuild wakati ameua Amalekites. Eh Jehovah Jireh sio jina ya Mungu. Ni jina ya altar ambayo Abraham alijenga ali, ali akatoa sadaka akasema mali hapa Mungu peana this place God giveth. Hiyo Genesis 2:14. Akasema hii itaitwa Jehovah Jireh. So it's the name of the altar. Now the best way for you to to have an altar is for you to have an established altar that you believe in na you are consistently following it it will give you any result that you want but now even if you have another altar because that is like you worship here you worship here you worship here it is another problem a spirit yako haitakuwa ima crew imechukua vitu vizuri kulingana na madhabahu ambayo nitakana kusubmit but you can have as many altars as you want 
but raju raju apostle ni hard sana ukombea mtu because you go through a lot yes, a lot maybe okay answer from 7 until 6 today evening bana you're like you need a lot a lot so yes. uh, kuna wale mtu atajiuliza okay mm. uh, acha nichukue shortcut yes. uh, maybe uh, kidogo tu yeah. uh, maybe what is the pro- that process for yeah. somebody maybe anatutazama pale hivi na maybe ako na ile tamaa yes. angependa sana ku create his ama her altar uh-huh. uh, what is that process okay yeah. uh, maybe number 1 uh, number one thing about what is very important mm-hmm. is that um, you must have apart from you having a relationship with God mm-hmm. you must have a relationship uh, with uh, with uh, your pastor because it's only your pastor that can help you remember the altars you must have a relationship with your pastor and you have to understand the altar of your pastor where he service kutokea hapo you can move forward mm-hmm. but uh, the, the be, uh, an altar is just simply a place of worship mm-hmm. where you can give your sacrifice, you can give your offering. Mm-hmm. It's a place where spirits meet. Mm-hmm. So you, ha- you are always there on Enda Pali and you know this is the place that you will need to get your results. Mm-hmm. So we want to be able to, where you worship mm-hmm. is the number one best place. But Pasi, okay, you've talked about where the spirit is in Apatana. <laughs> yeah. Na kuna wale maji wanapiga mganda kule out, wanapata na kila jioni. Is that an altar? No, that's not an altar. <laughs> because it's, it's working for them. Yeah. Yeah, they are doing business, business yeah. so they come together yeah. on a patana. Na each and everyone yeah. akona spirit. So, yeah. in attend to believe, okay, yeah. he come just ni, ni yeah. altar. altar. <laughs> Uh, 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 chai, uh, 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 but when I do take some altar, I'll get I'll get time to teach that. Kuna rules, na kuna vitu. It's an erected place, number one. That's why when I see Akwamba and uh, he destroyed the altars at the higher place, ni an erected place. Number two is like an. Uh, see, you're talking about an erected place. What is that place? the tallest building in town then as okay this is now my old okay maybe to, to familiar what is that place in here yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a sacred and directed place for the purpose of worship mm-hmm. you see that mm-hmm. it's a sacred and directed place for the purpose of worship Sasa mali pale pamekuwa sanctified pamekuwa dedicated kwa mfano unajua kanisa ni kwetu tutakuta kwamba we are building our church and the month of April my father will be coming at a concrete the altar he will be pouring oil now it has to be that way now okay you can worship god anywhere uh, because now the worship true worship in that the bible says uh, them that worship the lord they shall worship him in spirit and in the truth but uh, there are things among kwambia pale mwanzo ambayo wa it needs time kuna vitu zetu systems that god laid in place and their principles so if you want to be successful, you're not going to bypass one principle. Kwa mfano, wadu nasima kwamba, eh, unaweza abudu mali popote, mungu yuko, God is omnipresent, present, mm-hmm. but he does not give presents everywhere. You need to understand that. Okay. Eh, uwezu kainda chini ya muto, unasema mungu yuko hapa, mungu yuko hapa, ama unasema kwamba, tami mwenye ni kijombea tu, inatosha, it is also a lie. Mm-hmm. Every man needs a teacher. Wewe kukua mzuri kwa hii kazi ulipata mwalimu. Uh, shuleni, if you want to be, I'm also an accountant. For me to be trained as an accountant, I got teachers. Ili kwe perfect in that area. Na mimi ndio ni kwe pastor, I got mentors. So I was trained into this. As part of, uh, nikona gift ndio, but I was trained. So you can never do it alone. Unelewa hapo? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Before you continue, you can that time so you pray with the, for viewers pale nyumbani. Yes. Maybe you are now a pastor. Yes. And uh, na joko na watu na wakchi ni yako. Yes. talked about uh, one of the uh, uh, very uh, uh, important office yes. about account uh, uh, accounts pale yes. viewers. Yes. Kuna wakati uh, maybe account uh, yule ambaye na handle that office anafanya mistake and you feel like okay I can drop from being a pastor to this work. Yes. <laughs> okay. Kitu mm-hmm. uh, na church, especially maybe you have, you, if you have a support, ya watu kutuka nje, then unaitaji an elaborate system yako, ya books, na kuri. Lakini utagundua kumba, most local churches, ambao sisi ni wabiri tu wapu. And we are there to feed the flock. But I just realized that Zingina Tawi Taji and I counted because we get some people that are left out. To come and left out to some some right. We are not trusting our Kwambia Papa. I am going to keep Barua is three thousand. So we want to put it in records. But as for me, come on, an accountant. There, lazima to what we are accountable. Me, me, we fatilia. 
uh, you have talked about people being accountable yeah. and now where is the place of church to being accountable because mm. now watu wana wana uh, pale kanisani wanajiuliza okay yeah. each and every day yeah. sisi utoa sadaka yeah. utoa fungula kumi yes. but uh, the problem iki, ikitokea yes. then the, uh, the pastor ama yule ambaye anaongoza that kanisa yeah. anakuja tena naombea niaje maze tuchange tuchange so mtana yeah. jiuliza okay yeah. ipi sasa sisi utoa daily yeah. hii fungula kumi sisi utoa daily yeah. accountability yake iko wapi yeah. na hapo hiyo pia ni same crucial sana. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu kitu kikuja unagundua kwamba kanisa hii inaraniwa na yule pasta. Mm-hmm. For mwenye mkuja mpati mali kwa conducive instrument ziko in place. Mm-hmm. Wameunda mic, wamefanya nini? Mwenye pasta za kujima wakambia kwamba uh, lefu yenyu tano mulio toa. Imetengeneza microphone. Awaseme <laughs> giyo. Yeah. So the church money, especially the offering, iko in two purposes kuna purpose mbili moja sadaka ambayo inatolewa is to run the church ili kwamba kanisa iwe vizuri unaelewa but mambo ya shida there should be a kit for that lakini like offering just this daily offering ambayo ni service and free will offering umetoka kwa hiari mkuje umetoka kwa free will offering lazima iwe na intumia kuran church instruments nini maintain some boys there na ili kanisa iko balanced a tide sana sana a pastor will pray for it the overseer or uh, the, the, the chef of your soul because yeye utagundua pastor wengi wana kazi ehe na hiyo Mungu aliwaruhusu hao wa kule akuruhusu members wa kule biblia nasema kwamba for the tight you know tight you pay it you don't you don't give your tight you pay it is a compulsory thing unalipa so when you are going to pay your tight pastor wako hiyo ndiye ataishughulikia atayombea sio tena warudishe tena nyimu kule hiyo ni laana sasa mambo na shida there should be a kit mm-hmm. kitu ambacho kinasumbua kizazi cha sasa is that there are many people wa, watu wamesoma sana but hawajafunzwa mambo ya Mungu sana mm-hmm. eh, people wa, watu wamesoma mambo ya dunia hii wanaangalia pesa zetu wenda wapi na tena they are thinkers mm-hmm. but ukiwakuja okay, ukawakalisha chini wafunze mambo ya Mungu na vile na stahili kwenda wako nje so watu wa Kristo wengi wanasema kuja katika shule ya maombi mm-hmm. shule ya Ukristo sasa <laughs> <laughs> no, not time to kimbiza but uh, these are the last one. Yes, uh, kuna yule mkristo anatutazama eh. na amekuwa pale maybe kanisani eh. uh, uh, because na, na believe pia people ambao wanaitwa man of god. Yes. Uh, uh, kuna ile time asubuhi lazima mwa breakfast yes. uh, lunch yes. then the supper yes. like anyone uh, ana, ana, anaishi kwa hii dunia. Yes. Na, na te, mtu anajiuliza anatendi kujiuliza mm. pia nyinyi mnapatiana fungu la kumi ama yeah. Yeah. kuna kuaje yeah. mm-hmm. uh, eh, mtutu mzuri mhubiri mzuri mm-hmm. lazima ujue kutoa fungu la kumi ujue kutoa sadaka ujue kutoa sacrifices mm-hmm. mtu wa Mungu mwenye ni pasta if you never do that you will become a failure like your members mm-hmm. but pasta mwenye anatoa sadaka na fungu la kumi mm-hmm. is a sharp pasta mm-hmm. utagundua kwamba anajua principles za Mungu na Mungu muongeza mm-hmm. so every pasta mm-hmm. lazima tuwe pasimo kuzungumzia swala nzuri sana that uh, kuna wale ambao hawafanyi uh, kazi like uh, Monday ni kumali fulani yes. na and a man of god yes. uh, wanaingia wana kanisa maybe uh, from Sunday ni na nini kuna wale mashauri pale na happen pale kanisani yes. so uh, huyu anatoa wapi fungu la kumi because yeah. for us tutenda yeah. job tupige yeah. tumalize a month uh, san, nini, um, maybe a month kifika we yeah. have to slash that 10% yes. maybe that man of god anatoa wapi <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, 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 when people come mm-hmm. like you're offering your Sunday, mm-hmm. tight your Sunday. Mm-hmm. It was assembled together. Pastors have to give kitu into a tight of tights. Mm-hmm. From the tight that people brought, okay. you take a tenth of it. Mm-hmm. You give it to your father wow. into a tight of tights. Wow. So una collect everything. Usiwe kwa tumbo. Ipeleke mbele sehemu ya kumi. Oh, wow, pasika tele kwa chat time so that you can pray for our viewers pale nyumbani. It's a, a dope conversation. Yeah. Hope nikimaliza family season mm-hmm. uh, uh, and nda kutafuta tena so that we have that a good conversation. Yes, sir. So kuna wale maybe wako pale kanisani wanashughulika moja, mbili, tatu na wanajiuliza maswali mengi yes. and uh, for the praise mix to handle those issues up as in a rise up on up na pale yes. na just kukuweka tu sawa so that at the end of the day ukiona kitu fulani nafanyika pale church at yeah. least uko na that knowledge unaweza ku understand. Si ndio? So what ni kupisha apostol so that you can pray for our viewers and then uh, utakuwa natuambia unatupata wapi maybe social media platform na yes. all that yeah. yes mm-hmm. okay wacha tuombe sasa naombe wanafunzo na waenda shule mm-hmm. na wazazi mm-hmm. Mungu awabariki na watazamaji wote baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai ninakushukuru asubuhi ya leo umeifanya jinsi ilivyo umenipa tunuko hii ya kuwahudumia watu wa Mungu 
na waombea popote walipo kwamba wakaweze kubarikiwa na wafungulie malango na madirisha binguni natangaza kwamba mfalme kwamba hawatapungukiwa natangaza kwamba watapokea baraka za Ibrahimu Isaka na Yakobo na watabarikiwa mjini na mashambani waingie hapo na watokapo na mkono wako utakuwa juu yao utawapea uh, zina yako ya sirini na utawapea vitu ambavyo mfalme hawajatarajia naombea wazazi wote wakakuwe na roho ya ufanisi ya sasa na wiki hii ukawafungulie malango ukawapea nguvu ya kupata mali maandiko yanasema kwamba ni wewe ndio tupae nguvu ya kupata mali zaidi ya yote naombea wanafunzi maandiko yanasema kwamba na you gave Daniel the spirit of excellence maroho ya ufahamu na hekima naombea wote wanaotazama kwa pero ya ufahamu na hekima ukawafanye vichwa na simkia hakuna roho ya kutokushindwa tafaulu ndani ya watu hawa wataongoza bwana na watakuwa toa kuu na wabariki tu nikijua kwamba damu ya Yesu inaongea mema juu ya maisha yao inaendelea kuwatunza na kuwalinda na kuhifadhi katika muhula huo ambao unaingia asante kwa kuwa siku zote bwana wasikia na kujibu maombi na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai tunaomba na takwamini Amen. 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 Uh -huh. Maybe social media platform uh, so, yeah. wale ambao wanataka kukufata na maybe kusemezana na wewe moja kwa moja you can share and then waweze kufuatana na wewe. Okay. Yeah. Okay, na uh, kwenye 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 uh, Facebook naitwa Pastor Francis mm. Haemba. Pastor Francis Haemba. Uh, 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 niko na YouTube uh, inaitwa Pastor Francis Haemba YouTube. Mm -hmm. Alafu niko na um, Niko na pia post of France Haimba International Ministry page mm -hmm. kwa pale nini pale Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, lafu na patikana pale Kandui mukitoka mm -hmm. mukitoka Ola ukielekea njia kibabi mm -hmm. just salam 150 meters utaangalia on the right hand kuna kanisa pale mbele inaitwa Full Gospel Baptist kwa nyuma upande wa nyuma mm -hmm. tuko na kanisa letu hapa ama ukifika pale Hechang offices mm -hmm. uh, mahali penye kulikuwa na Food Kenya office mm -hmm. on the opposite side mm -hmm. tuko mahali pale wow. Naitwa Apostle Haimba Francis. Nambari yangu ya simu ni 0718201156. Napatikana hivyo. Na maybe eh, Twitter ndio bado sijaingia kule lakini very soon. Twitter na TikTok. <laughs> na TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, Pastor Apostle Francis, for coming through. Thank you. Uh, you're praying that uh, God will elevate Zaidi na Zaidi uh, so that Mungu uh, Azidi will continue to, to minister to so many people. Now, we thank God for all that. I'll see you. So, uh, this is the war room section to Nakamilisha, but show, uh, 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 show is just a segment whereby we dive into the word of the day. But you're coming back to the with the blessed one. All is all about stories of Anapale after commercial break and the interview vizuri sana is all about family so kama kuna any swali lolote kuhusiana na familia ama wale ambao mko kwa dating season hapo hivi you can be able to share on our social media platform na nitakuwa naangazia zaidi also let us go to short commercial break we are coming back with the blessed one